Okay, I'm going to talk very briefly about the Dyson Science Destroyer. It is a very, a very decent ship for what it is. It has a thin hull, granted, uh, but depending on how you equip this ship, it can be quite useful, actually. Uh, now, there are some bad things, and there are some good things. Now, the, the worst part that I find with it is that if you die or once you finish an encounter if you get ready to go back in it kicks you out of uh, tactical mode and you're back in science mode uh, but in science mode the ship is still quite usable depending on how you have your ship crew and how you have how you have it equipped also one thing you want to note is with this ship uh, you must have a beam weapon equipped in order to use the subsystem attacks. If you don't have a beam weapon equipped, you can't use the subsystem attacks. And you can use them in both tactical mode and you can use them in science mode. Now this ship really looks like something that was made by the Federation. Uh, it doesn't look very Klingon. Now you can change the appearance of it but that costs real money in the sum of about twenty five dollars okay so now this part's going to take a little while uh, but we'll get to some fighting here in, in just a moment the ship does have a decent turn rate uh, it's, you do have to kind of buff that up a little bit uh, but the turn rate is not real bad. I've, I've seen worse. I'm used to uh, the Bird of Praise, which of course have a much, much better turn rate than this one. What I used here was called uh, Subspace Fold. I don't even know where I got that. It just appeared. But it's, it's pretty nice. I can do a two light year self space jump. But I can only do it uh, in certain places. I can't actually uh, use that all the time. But for doing these type of things where you gotta hop from spot to spot, it actually is pretty nice. And it's only usable in sector space. Now this should use about three. Oh, still not, huh? But as long as you're in sector space, you can just point, click, and you're right there. Here we go. As you can see, it turns pretty readily. And it does pack a punch. Now, when I fight, I know some people like to slow down uh, to like half impulse or something. But generally when I fight, I go at full speed. Uh, that way I take advantage of the turns. Now sometimes I overshoot my target doing it this way. But, you know, we all have our different fighting styles. And I'm, like I said, used to, to the fast-paced fighting style of the bird of prey. Okay, I'm going to kind of just zoom up on this guy.
it's easy to forget that you're in science mode. I'm gonna go to tactical. Whoa! I got company. All right, let's see. And you can see it, sh it made short work of everybody who was attacking me. I mean, this ship is, I guess, an acquired taste. But for me, I really do like it. Got a little bit too close that time. I normally don't like to get that close. But it's alright though. When their shields fail, it's always a good time to put a torpedo in it. Because as long as their shields up, they're going to uh, absorb 25, uh, I'm sorry, 75% of the torpedo damage. Now I'm going to go after a group this time. It's like uh, three Jim Hadar. Uh, there they are right there. I'm probably not going to rush into this one. <laughs> now, I have a, I need to get a better mic, but um, hopefully you can hear me okay. All right, and we're coming into range. And you can see they're they're only stinging me, they're not really doing any damage at all. Okay, his shield is down. I need to give him a torpedo real quick. And as you can see, it goes toe to toe with these little uh, fighters quite well. Now, if you look up a destroyer on, say, Wikipedia, a destroyer is meant to protect carriers and, and other large vessels from small, uh, powerful ships, and they and they also use as anti-submarine as well. So. It actually does what a destroyer is supposed to do, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video that gave just a small uh, example of what this ship can do. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please please feel free. Now this is my first uh, video that I've done on this. The only other video I've done was how to k safely capture a spider in your kitchen. So if this isn't the best video, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. And I know I'm not the best speaker. But I just wanted to clear up some of the confusion on the Dyson. And that I know that some people don't know that they have to have beam weapons in order to use the subsystem attacks. The subsystem attacks also 
is not a guarantee that go they're going to take the subsystem down, but they'll drain the subsystem. So, for example, uh, the, the, the attack, the shield subsystem, doesn't necessarily take the shields down. It has a chance to take the shields down, but it'll actually drain the shields. So if you have another power drain or shield drain or something like a tachyon uh, beam or something like that, then you actually can take the shields out. Anyway, uh, my name is Hammer, and you guys have a good day.